Today I'm going cafe hopping at Flakes, trying out their almond milk latte. I'm gonna read some Google reviews and rate the place based on these criteria as well. Let's go! Okay, so we're at Flakes. The, the entire building is called the Hub SS2. Quite a number of cafes over here as well. So Flakes is not the only cafe in the Hub. We ordered two drinks. The almond milk latte. I ordered a cold one because it's damn hot today. Oh, thank you, thank you. This is the almond milk one, right? Thanks. I really like the cup. This transparent glass cup. Kind of looks like a whiskey cup, like, actually, to be honest. It's really aesthetic. La. Let's drink a plant-based milk white coffee. Okay, and I have a few things to say. If you love, love, love almond milk, I feel like you like this. I, I would prefer the coffee taste to be stronger and more fragrant because the, the almond taste just overpowers everything. But whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, you be the judge, okay? I'm still trying to open myself up to the world of nut milks. I will give it a 6 out of 10 for taste. But for consistency, it's very thick. I mean thick with like at least 5 C's. Uh, the more I drink it, Right. The more I'm noticing that it is very grainy, you can taste a little bit of the graininess. I don't know whether it's because of some kind of reaction with plant-based milk and coffee. Maybe it's because it's not mixed well enough. I don't know. It's not smooth lah, is what I'm trying to say. Some graininess will be left on your tongue. The viscosity, the, the thickness of the coffee, it really comes through in the aftertaste. Because after you swallow the coffee, it kind of lingers at the back of your throat and on your tongue, on the roof of your mouth. And then, and then it kind of subsides. You might like this, but to me, it's it's just a, a tad bit unpleasant lah, okay? I, I'm just being honest with my reviews. My dad ordered the normal latte. I, I did give it a try, and my conclusion is I prefer the normal latte over here like 10 times more than this almond latte. Because their normal latte is not as thick as the almond one, so to me, it's a more enjoyable and pleasant coffee drinking experience. But again, I'm not saying that this is bad. I just prefer the, the normal latte. Okay, coffee aside, let's review the other aspects of this cafe because cafes are, are not just about the coffee. Alright, there's, there's so many other things about a cafe that can be reviewed. Flakes has over 340 Google reviews. I'm not gonna go through all of them. 4.1 stars out of 5. He says that the service is wonderful. Staff is very alert to keep our cups filled and offer assistance very quickly. The cakes are delicious as well. Strawberry shortcake is my personal fave as it is very light, great dessert after a heavy meal. Minor downside is the environment can be quite noisy upstairs when crowded. Overall, 10 out of 10 would return for chill tea time. He's very generous to give this place a 10 out of 10 even though he commended about the environment being very noisy. But I agree with him. In this cafe, there's two floors. We're sitting upstairs because downstairs is, is, is already full, unfortunately. It's quieter downstairs compared to upstairs. The ceiling is lower compared to downstairs. The walls over here, they're fairly empty. There's not enough things in the, on the walls to absorb the noise. I think that's that's one of, one of my predictions to why it's a lot noisier here and also the, the, the tables over here are pretty cramped, la, right, to be honest. <laughs> Conclusion, if you're coming over here to do work, don't do that. I feel like the environment that I'm getting over here is you come over here, you eat, you pay money and then you go. I do agree that the staff over here is very alert with your water cups because they refill them very often. Let's read some more reviews. Overall, the service is good, so I wanted to give a surprise to my sister and requested them to decorate the brownies a happy birthday wish. Initially, they politely rejected, but still tried to fulfill my request after I insisted. And he, uh, she also said that the brownies are really nice. Hey, this is something that you guys can keep in mind. Uh, try the brownies over here. How will I rate this place? Service, I will give it a 9 out of 10. Staff are friendly. Even though this place is full, they are very attentive. Props to the entire team. Aesthetics, I will give it a 5 out of 7. I think the interior designer did a really good job with this place. I guess the only thing that I would say is the space behind me right now can be a little bit dark. The space in front of me is way brighter because there's a big ass window over there. If it were me, I would prefer to sit near the window but because it's a full house today, we don't really have the luxury to choose where we can sit. I'm giving the ambiance over here 
an 8 out of 12. Because I prefer cafes to be chill and cozy. This is a little bit too noisy for me. In terms of the menu, you don't have to scan this barcode to, to order. You have to order from the site and 8 out of 10. They have some pretty interesting stuff over there. They have a soft shell crab and a wagyu burger, which are damn expensive. But I am intrigued by that. And that brings me to my final criteria, the price. The iced elder milk latte costs 13 ringgit. The normal iced latte, 11 ringgit. So I agree with all of those reviews that say that this place is a little bit pricey. It's a little bit above average. I'm not going to judge the price just based on how expensive it is. I'm also going to put in perspective on uh, whether it is worth it or not. I will give the price range about 7 out of 10. Even though it's pricey, I am not appalled by it. I respect their price. I just didn't really like the almond latte. Maybe next time I will come over here to try their black coffee. The price doesn't make me hate this place. I will still come here again. Alright, so that's about it for today's cafe hopping episode. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Click over here to watch the previous cafe hopping episode and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!